evening, pedal nerds, and in this case, guitar nerds. Da Dario, have I said that today? I have. Um, I know we don't do this often, but um, I had the pleasure of uh, exchanging a few lines with Peter Fischer yesterday on Facebook, and he pointed out that I have missed one of his books. Well, that cannot happen. Um, so I immediately went online and ordered this from my good friends at Amazon. Now, I know my videos are in English. I was thinking German, no. They're in English and this book is in German. As far as I understand Peter Fischer's books, some of them, I think, have been translated into other languages, especially English. Um, why couldn't I think of the book that made me? Wow, um, Rock Guitar Secrets. The year was 1990 or 91 or something and a little guy that was growing long hair, yes it was me, um, actually uh, this was my bible and it still is. I still go to Rock Guitar Secrets and there's so many more masters of Rock Guitar. There's um, uh, Blues Guitar... Why can't I think of the names? What is wrong with me? Uh, the thing about blues, well, a great one is uh, uh, Survival Guitar, which has all the different styles and everything you need. I use so much of that in my teaching. 16th rhythms, uh, 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 um, uh, drop two and four voicings, drop two voicings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, get the book. Peter Fischer is the master of bringing you to topics that you're too scared to approach. He's a master teacher, an insane player, and a super nice guy, and I um, consider myself very lucky uh, to have chatted with him twice. So, awesome. Um, hopefully, one of these days, I know he teaches uh, close to here once a week, um, he'll pop his head in here and we'll put him on the couch, give him a coffee, and pick his brain about what it's like to be Peter Fischer. So here we have Mega Chops. Um, in the intro track, I tried. I. I looked at two of the, the tracks, there's 160 in here, or kind of, there's 160 tracks on the included CD in MP3 form, which I just dragged over to my Mac, and um, let me tell you what the book is about. It's about Mega Chops. Awesome, huh? Buy it! It's 23 bucks, come on, and you got Mega Chops. Um, one of the reviews on uh, Amazon was awesome. Five out of five stars. One was one out of five stars because the guy said, "Well, it's not as you know his other books where you pop, pop in the CD and you immediately can play along. It's this bluesy and jazzy kind of stuff." Well, I don't want to say it's bluesy or jazzy. It is more advanced because this book covers, let's say, it covers scales, and a lot of us are afraid of the modes. This goes past modes, and most of us don't even understand modes. Now, noodling around over these tracks. Um, can really get you a feel for the modes. So, in the beginning, in German, for now, he uh, shows you the Ionian system, meaning the church scales, meaning the, you know, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Locrian, and that's all of them. Um, showing you these, explaining you what they are. But then it goes further quite fast uh, with um, the scales of harmonic minor. Well, for me, seeing all the scales of harmonic minor it might be a little bit too much. Uh, for me, Phrygian dominant and harmonic minor are the ones I would focus on, but he shows you them. Then there's melodic minor and all the scales. And then harmonic major. Anyway, he shows you the scales. Now, he goes, then he goes into showing you some other freaky deaky ones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on the fuck Peter the chromatic scale and it's just on every fret. There's a dot <laughs> Ah, you are hilarious <laughs> I'm sorry, dude <laughs> the chromatic scale. That's awesome um, The one thing I It, it would have made the book more complex But what I would have liked is let's let's go to our good friend the pentatonic scale right here um he shows you the fretboard and all the available notes. Now, if you're a ad more advanced player, you obviously know the positions to play these in. Excuse me, Dadario. Ah, they're really getting 
their cup investment worth of advertising here. <laughs> um, I would have liked to see the five positions, as, or as we call them, the boxes, you know, laid out saying, play in position, blah, 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 blah. So for A minor, um, I would probably go position zero, two, five, seven, nine, and 12, whereas 12 and zero is the same. Um, and show the boxes so that you have a very clear fingering and know what fingers to use, or at least his suggestions, and his suge suggestions are pretty good. Um, so I would have liked for all these scale diagrams, not just to see the whole fretboard, but individual boxes. I think that would help a lot more uh, to find out how to fret them. Obviously, you can figure it out for yourself, but that's my only gripe. I wish he had explained that a little bit, um, or, or shown those, those boxes. Now, he goes into which scale do I play at what point in time? Well, that's obviously something we need to know. Um, and the great thing is there isn't always one simple answer. Like in the second track you heard in the beginning, I was always going for playing a major uh, pentatonic and a minor pentatonic. So when we had the G7, I was playing G minor, then going into G major pentatonic, which then changed into E minor, because the E7 was played. You have no, by the book if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, he gives you a lot of chords and scales that you can play over different chords. It, it's just helping you to make sense of the world of what to play over what. What harmonic background. Now then he goes into how to, how to practice. Play five minutes of quarter notes in that scale over that track. Then play five minutes of eighth notes and so on. So he gives you clear structures. Now then um, he gives you sequences and things to play with those scales to get your fingers used to them, which is that. I don't think most, I, I would think most people who are watching this are familiar with his teachings and have at least one of his books. Blues Guitar Rules, that's what it's called. Thank you, Blues Guitar Rules. Um, which I actually do not own, which is a shame. I had that on loan from a friend of mine and I stole a lot of really cool riffs and ideas from that. Uh, I should buy that. Um, uh, here, ideas with uh, arpeggios, you know, how to, how to play them. So these aren't licks, these are how to practice the scales. And then we go into a description of the 160 jam tracks. Now obviously those are not 160 individual jam tracks. They are, I don't know, uh, so and so many. And then there's four different speeds for each track, which is way cool. Start slow, go up further. Start slow, play eighth and sixteenth, go up faster, play eighth notes, you know, stuff like this. So here we have the different blueses. Dominant blues in different keys, minor blues, um, and it's very cool. So here we got a minor blues in C. You see, you see in C. You see the. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm looking at my stupid ass Apple Watch, the stupidest damn thing I ever bought, and it's it's distracting me with emails, or actually YouTube comments from you. Um, the distortion channel is instantly has that Adam jaw, and I don't know what he's trying to say, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Go away, stupid Apple Watch. Thank you. Um, so here we have the... Uh, done. <laughs> uh, the chord progression, and then for each chord in that progression, which is way cool, he gives you options. What uh, arpeggios he can play over that, so upper structure triads. Uh, what... Um, a triads, upper, uh, upper structure, um, four ads, four, four note arpeggios. Uh, what pentatonic material and what scales. So depending on how you want to approach this track, you could arpeggio all the way through it. You could play uh, 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 three note or four note arpeggios. You could say, I want to do it all with pentatonic scales and practice those, or I want to uh, practice C Aeolian, C Dorian over this and so on. So it, he gives you ideas. And I know most of us are very comfortable just playing a single scale over the whole track and we're happy with it. But music gets so much more interesting when you, you kneel in a bit and you just, you just you try to concentrate on what chord is happening at that point in time. And he makes it 
he makes it possible. He makes it very approachable because he gives you the speeds. He starts at 60, 75, 90, and 110, I think, for the tracks that I played. Um, so it's not, the chords don't rush past really fast. On the one I did, um, entitled, first one I did was Lydian, and then Dominant Key Centers, which is kind of cool, which simply was four dominant seventh chords, uh, B flat seven, G seven, E seven, D flat seven, and he gives you four measures of it. So you have a long time to really get a feel for where you are, play with the different options, and then the next chord comes in. I think if you want to go further in your soloing, this doesn't necessarily take you by the hand and say, play exactly this, but it gives you a very good vocabulary to start with, and it gives you nice tracks. They're not, you know, produced down to the last millisecond. Then decent jam tracks, because there's 160 of them. I mean, you know, you gotta, gotta stop somewhere with the complexity. So, uh, they're fun to play with, and this helps you to go that next step past playing the normal scale, or the, uh, uh, the, the, the the major scale, and your pentatonic scales, maybe your blues scale. This pushes you to the level that you were always afraid to go to. And um, I'm gonna have fun with some students of mine that are ready for this. Peter, Max, you know who you are. Well, you're Peter and Max, that's who you are. Um, I also wanna mention, the Dietzel Terra giveaway has begun. What you've heard in the beginning track actually was the Dietzel Terra going directly into the power amp of the Houston Kettner um, Deluxe 20, going downstairs into the basement, marked, uh, mic uh, uh, the 112 cap, mic with the Sennheiser E609, going up here into the Apollo, and behind the Terra and the power amp, I had a Strymon Brigadier analog delay. So there you go. That was the Terra that you heard, and the more you watch these videos and leave a comment, I know that you're watching, and the people that give up their lives and watch all of my videos can win after eight weeks a Dietzel Terra. That is how it goes. Yes. Dietzel Terra. Sponsored by Dietzel. See you guys. Peter Fischer Masterclass. Second book is coming. I'm really excited about this. Um, the Reharmonizer, which is all about reharmonizing. And I love this shit. I love taking a simple chord progression and then twisting and turning and changing the bass line. That is what I live for and I definitely will show that shit to you. Thanks, Peter. As always, you're the man.